Well, Daryl Sutter returns behind the bench for the Calgary Flames for the first time in almost 14 years. You could see there was a, a lot of anticipation for the coach and a lot of excitement. He was amped up, and his team responded as well with a, a really complete performance. What did you see from the Calgary Flames in their first game under Daryl Sutter? Well, I saw a ton of commitment. You know, it was a, a team win. Uh, everybody was committed. You know, they, they simplified. They kept the puck moving forward. There was no hesitation in their game, and it resulted in a, a low-scoring win, uh, which are, are the ones that feel the best, really. And I think we should get used to this style of game and um, the Flames winning a lot of hockey games this way. Yeah, a product that's sustainable moving forward uh, about winning games, which is what this team needs to do now with uh, 29 games remaining in the regular season. Uh, all four lines, as Daryl talked about in the post game, were connected to this hockey game. But one line in particular that stands out, obviously, they generate both goals. Yeah, and you know, you give credit where credit's due. Um, Daryl loves to play four lines, and we can call it the fourth line came up big tonight. Um, you know, they, they work hard, they're very structured as a line. Um, Derek Ryan's a very safe player in, in all areas of the ice, and they were rewarded with two goals. And good to see Josh Levo get two more. Um, you, you've seen his, his confidence really come back, and, uh, and if they play this way, um, you know, they're going to get a lot of ice time. Daryl will keep putting them out there if they do a job for him. Well, and that's the interesting part about is uh, just the way that the ice time numbers were spread out throughout the course of the game. And as uh, you've talked about and others have, when he sees somebody who's going or a line that's going, he's not afraid to ride them as that game wears on, right? Yeah, that's Daryl's thing. He's so good at reading players and reading the game and making those adjustments. And we heard him talk about in his post game, you yeah. need four lines and um, that's, that's what he wants. And if someone's not going, um, he doesn't care if you're the first line or the third line or the fourth line. You won't play as much and um, tonight we even saw that the fourth line was on the ice with the last 30 seconds to close out this game when uh, Montreal had their goalie pulled so um, you know I think it's something uh, you know it's accountability and, and it's uh, Daryl's way of uh, making it making sure everybody's involved and has their their uh, their roles and it's a recipe for success because he's won two cups yeah absolutely and he said uh, not necessarily extra sweet uh, a win uh, being back behind the bench but a win's a win and uh, he did dedicate it however to uh, a couple of people on this night, uh, his first win back uh, behind the bench for the Calgary Flames to uh, the late Ken King, as well as his, uh, his mother who turns 85 today on March the 11th.